Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Pakduro Trunks. You have a very old laptop, the performance sucks, and it's not suitable anymore for your daily usage. And you needed a new one. While searching online, you found a very nice laptop, has a good specs, and it has a free Microsoft Office on it at a reasonable price. You bought it, you set it up, and you experienced the Microsoft OOBE, the out-of-the-box experience. And you finish the setup and you're ready to go. However, it has a free Microsoft Office on it. And a question appeared in your mind, how does this free things work? Is it activated? If not, what are they work around? Where is the product key? Can't find it on the box. In this video, I'll be showing you the safest way not the easiest way but the safest way to activate this free Microsoft Office on your newly purchased laptop. Before that, I'll be showing you some brands that has a free Microsoft Office on them. There is a sticker that indicates that it has a free Microsoft Office. Some of them are on the box. And you can also find the laptop specification from their website if it has a free Microsoft Office. In this video, I will be featuring a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 14 ITL6 specific model A2H700HPPH an i5 11th gen processor 8 gigs of RAM 512 gigs NVMe SSD with Iris graphics after experiencing the OOBE you're on your laptop and ready to activate your free Microsoft Office the first thing you would do is never ever uninstall this pre-installed Microsoft Office 365 in the list of programs. This is very crucial for activating our free Microsoft Office and why? I'll be explaining it through the step-by-step -step process along in this video. We already knew that it has a free Microsoft Office 365 installed in the system let's create a shortcut for word excel and powerpoint on the desktop so we can launch the application easier click on type word right click open file location here you can see where the program and shortcut are installed let's select the three by holding control keys on your keyboard select word powerpoint and excel right click hover on send to then select desktop did you see that how quick the shortcut was created let's just close this one next we open microsoft word and take a look what version it is when you open word for the first time there is a pop-up for license and agreement just go on with the process. After that, we'll proceed on verifying its version. On the lower corner, they have list of option here. Click on account. Inside account, there are some option and settings here. While under product information, it's a Microsoft 365 and an activation is required. Did you notice that it has a sign-in option? Did you know that newer version of Microsoft Office are linked to your email account or a Microsoft account to determine its authenticity? Prior to that, we need to create a Microsoft account. Let's open our favorite browser. On the address bar, search for Microsoft.com.
here on the Microsoft website let's create an account by clicking here create one here you can use your existing email ad but today we're creating a new account this will help those who do not have an existing emails type your username or your login name and an extension of outlook.com this extension is a domain name exclusive for Microsoft users click next on this page we have a two boxes one for show password so you can see what password you have written so there are no rooms for error here the other one is for tips and services for Microsoft still you have a choices not to click for the boxes but here we're going this way then next fill up the users information next in this page it's a security level for creating a new account it determines if the account are created by a person or an AI if you're familiar with CAPTCHA this is a newer method of CAPTCHA we are confronted with a third question or a puzzle innermost we are looking for a banana and we must pair it with these given six pictures and we're doing it five times in spite of the fact if you have a very stable internet connection you'll be doing this just once and you're done but here we're doing it for five times after that we are prompted to stay logged in just confirm yes and you have successfully created a Microsoft account oh wait let's just close this one it's just a welcome note for Lenovo after creating a Microsoft account it's time to sign in our newly created Microsoft account on our Microsoft 365 Word application initiate the shortcut app Word and you are presented with a prompt to sign in or create an account basically you can create an account here as I said earlier we're activating it on a safest way not the easiest way but the safest way to activate this free Microsoft Office explaining this if you're creating an account here the process are the same filling up all your information the Microsoft domain when you proceed in the setting up a password there is a huge risk here there is no option to show your password if you misspelled or accidentally added another character to your password I assure you it gives a very very bad headache on your part personally I have a lot of experience dealing with this kind of problem some of our client misspelled their password or literally forgot the password they made it's a pain and a time consuming just to fix it that's why we're doing this the safest way as possible as we could with that explained very well let's continue to our sign-in process select sign in and input your account name your password once more license and agreement and just follow along with the process and okay press new document 
on top of that let's check for product information by clicking file account underneath product information a download pending for microsoft office home and student 2019 how can we download it all we need to do just update this version of office go to office update and press update option then update now an application prompt says save your work before continuing when you set continue it closes the application it will take some time to download and update its version to microsoft office home and student 2019 at the meantime let's take a look at our account on microsoft website This is what Microsoft Web looks like. We're not going to expound everything inside Microsoft account, but going directly to the most important thing. On the upper part of the tab, choose services and subscription. At the beginning of my video, I said that the pre-installed Microsoft Office 365 is the crucial part for activating Microsoft Office Home and Student 2019. Did you know that Microsoft 365 was the license key holder that triggers once an account is signed in and this product key is bound to the account as it's shown here dated September 7. Oh wait wait my bad I forgot to set the correct time and date must set it quick and fast. okay it's september 7 oh wait 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 the update for microsoft office 2019 were installed okay let's just close this one for the last time accept the license agreement and immediately go to the product information now we have a product activated for microsoft office home and student 2019 When did I open this one? Let's just close some of the open application. Let's get back to our previous topic. As I said earlier, this Microsoft 365 is the key for activating Microsoft Office Home and Student 2019. And the license key is bound in the account that you first signed in. As it's shown here, dated September 7. We activated this on September 7. To confirm it, we are dated September 7. When you accidentally uninstall MS Office, you have the option to reinstall it again. And remember that this Microsoft Office is intended for this laptop alone. I have noticed that there is an error on the account that we signed in. A quick solution to that, click fix me. You must re-enter your password and sign in, then close the application and relaunch it again. A quick look if our solution did the job. Okay, we have an issue free and a product activated office. Alright, ayan, we successfully activated the free Microsoft Office on our newly purchased laptop. In this tutorial, it's a mix of a beginner's guide in a sprechetic movement. The process were long. Actually, 
it's the safest way to do it. And konting recap lang mga guys. First, never uninstall the Microsoft 365. Why? Because it's the key holder that triggers the activation of our free Microsoft Office. Second, create an account on Microsoft website. Third, run and log in that account on Microsoft 365. Fourth, update your Microsoft 365. After that, it will change its version to Home and Student 2019 or 2020-21 and a tag product activated. Lastly, check your Microsoft account if the license key is registered on your account that is listed in the services and subscription. For those guys out there that don't have a Microsoft Office in their laptop and planning to buy a cheap, legitimate Microsoft Office license key or Windows 10 license key, I have the link down below and added some promo code so check it guys and if you learn something new in this video don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye!